Okay, so we are going to do another quick thing, and this is like about announcing a short header for a video series called the Bridge Video Series. So it's very literal, there's a bridge building, but I wanted to do a very simple tutorial on using an FBX importer and exporter so you can go from a 3D package into After Effects without much problem and you can get some really cool results. So this is like a mock-up design of a bridge animating on and then I decided to do a more interesting 3D camera move and then we're gonna reappropriate some of this text so it'll, it'll make sense in just a just a minute. Okay, so here's the 3D scene it's super simple the camera just pans back from this growing bridge to its locked position. So that's all that is there. And then what I wanted to do is we don't need that animation. All we need is the camera animation. So we have our camera and we're seeing through the camera here and we have these little points. So this is about where the bridge is. This is where a bottom logo is gonna go and this is where the top words are gonna go. So we have this. And now all you really have to do, you can drag a box if you're in 3D Studio Max or other programs, you can just export selected, export selected, and you can export an FBX. And it'll export a lot of data. So I'm gonna say, this is just two. The other one is working, I don't wanna mess it up. So we wanna include, we don't worry about geometry really. It's not a problem, we just put animation. And really, you could just export the camera if you wanted to. That would be the most efficient thing, but having some reference points is always good. So that's what the geometry is going to include. Uh, bake animation, I put that on just so we have keyframes for every frame. And you want to export cameras. And there's other options that you might have to do, like changing what the axis up is, but this works for me. The way it's set up and you just hit okay you'll get some warning or something like that but that does not really matter because once you jump into after effects you go to actually a little website called ae scripts and ae plugins and then there's this really awesome tutorial called fbx to ae and i've purchased it and downloaded it but if we go fbx to ae and you search, you can click on this, and you can add it to the cart and you can use it, but it's a really awesome tool. And then you drag and drop that into your, your plugin folder for your After Effects. Close After Effects and restart it. And when you come in, you can come into here, import file, and now we are going to import our FBX. This is the one we just made, but this is the one that works for sure, and I'm going to use that. The only drawback of this is that it imports everything named FBX comp. We're only gonna do one, but this will be fine. So you see that we've got some camera movement going on. Very, very simple. And it doesn't look great. It doesn't look bad. Uh, if you open up all these with the U key, you'll see that everything has a keyframe on it because we said bake all keyframes. Um, since these are not actually animated, I'm just going to turn all these off and we're just going to keep our camera animation. Okay, so that's perfect. And this looks screwy and stupid, but if we shrink it down just a little bit, it will start to look like what we have here. So if we go to frame zero here, you'll see our little rectangles or squares. And if we go, oops, over here, And that, this uh, does not quite look right, does it? And that's fine. We're gonna just see what happens. Import, and we're going to import a file, but this is going to be an image sequence of what I just rendered. And it's okay if it's 30 frames a second because we want it to match up. But you'll start to see that the camera kind of matches there. And that's really good. 
So what we're going to do here, we're just going to copy this text right here. That's this text. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to make it 3D. Well, it, it already is 3D. It's just the wrong scale or in the wrong position. But that's exactly why we have these points. So we can shift click and I'm just going to put it in the origin. So that linked it to the origin and then I'm going to unlink it and we're going to work on it from here. I guess we could lock all these. So we're just working with the text. And I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to move this behind the footage. If I turn this off. So this is starting. We're not done yet. Okay, so I paused it because I saw there's this problem. You can see the very first frame and the very first frame of this. These are different. What's going on is there's a roll on the camera, negative 32.22, and it goes to zero to get that like easing. And that's so that's that's in the render. We could turn that off or we could incorporate that into here. So all we kind of have to do is find out what's doing the roll on here and I'm pretty sure it's the Z rotation so I'm going to turn this on I'm going to drag this over there to the right and this is going to be the exact same number as it is in the 3D file negative 32.22 oops yes make a keyframe nope okay and then I might have to do Okay. Oh yes, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> F9 pauses my thing. Don't want to do that. We're just going to do an easy ease. So now our text is actually on there. And there's probably... Ease this to just to try to make it match a little bit better. Okay, cool. So we are getting somewhere. Now, client specified that this should be three seconds, but I'm going to make it longer than that so they can trim it or fade or whatever they need to do. And I want to drag this off. Uh, when there's no more keyframes, that's okay because the camera just stops moving. This is still all 3D. And then on here, you can just unlock your footage, right click uh, time, enable time remapping, and then you can just repeat that last frame. Starting to look a little bit like the lost thing. Okay, so what I'm also gonna copy is this background, which is the blue. Put it on the bottom. All right. That looks just fine. And then the other thing is I'm going to use the logo, 
Oops. Gonna turn it on. And we're gonna make it, so you'll see that this is just a 2D logo. That might be okay for what we're doing here. But if you wanted it to move, then you would just repeat the process that we did before, kind of. So I'm going to hold shift, drag to the logo bottom section thing. I don't know why that went up there, but now, oops, that's why I did, because this is not set to a 3D object. Okay, I'll just shrink it down. And now you'll see that this logo is 3D as well. But it's a logo, so I don't really personally want it 3D. Okay, so we've got this, and I think I'll just have this logo kind of like fade on at this point. I'm trying to use new Alt Shift T makes a keyframe. I'll shift T makes another keyframe, make it zero, oops, make it zero. I paused it. My uh, video capture software is F9. Easy ease. Boom. Can make this even here. Boom. So, okay. And I want to delay the buildup of these letters. Or it could, it could be writing these letters on. And it just doesn't finish until this time. Okay, and so now we are gonna get our critical eye out and look at the design. Uh, it's it's not bad, but I think I want to shift things around a little bit so it doesn't feel so sh shitty. And just by separating that a little bit more. And I think I want to, so if you look at this, you will see that the text is kind of, let me turn on our 3D. Oops, turned off everything. You'll see that everything is kind of happening in this center origin point. So this is the top view we're looking at right here. And this is where the text is. It's in the center of this. So it's kind of not even in the middle of the bridge. But what I want to do is push it back further away and that's easier to do in After Effects, like this. Okay, and that's not quite far enough away. So it's kind of like a, it's on the back side now instead of the front side. And once that happens, you might have to shift the scale of things around. and adjust things. All right, let's try this. Okay, it's not bad. I just want to move it up now. Back to that position it kind of was before. Okay, and we are going to dial into here. So now that there's a 3D camera move, you can kind of see the letters rotating more and you can see that they're not even rotating in the right spot. So I'm not really happy with that. So we're gonna go into here and you can see that it's rotating 26. I'm just gonna put this like at five. So it's barely rotating at all. And the other thing I'm going to do, since the movements changed a little bit from this one, where it reads left to right, and that's kind of where this tracking animation, the letter sliding is coming from, 
I'm going to change it on this. So I'm going to select the letter, the text layer, center this, and then I will have to move it, unfortunately, but that's not, it's not hard. We know how to do that. So now this tracking, you can see it kind of growing a little bit. It's, it's not that noticeable. I will, I will extremify it so you can see it. This is animator two tracking, and this is just going from negative two to positive or just to zero. So, but if I made this bigger, you'd be able to see it more. And I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe like a, a one. Okay, so this is not bad. The weight of the bridge. Okay, let's just try some of this. I'm gonna put an exposure onto the render. I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit so it's not so offensive. Okay, another thing that's going on is that the text is not pure white, and I think that's okay, but I'm just going to turn it pure white. Decent. And what I'm going to do is come in here and copy, no, not this, copy this adjustment layer. And all that this is going to do is put some grain on it, but I'm also going to put a curves on it. Make the brights brighter and the darks a little darker. All right, and render it out. The grain, when you do final output, it's a little slow, but it works pretty well. And I'm going to render this. Okay, we finished rendering, and now we're just going to play what we made. And it is hopefully not terrible. So we could make some comments about this, but I'm going to send this over for approval and hope that it turns out. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something. If you have any comments or questions, just email or put a comment below. Thanks.